how can I balance between my family and my career? When you finish your PhD or your postdoc and you don't want to continue with a scientific track, like what are the other possibilities? How do you, as a sort of a scientific couple, try and establish long-term job security? I basically want to stay in academia and uh, I have a small daughter. <laughs> So I'm very happy to have a whole day for thinking about what is life balance for everyone. I think life balance is so important because we get more and more 24-7 society. And we see in the burnout a consequence which is not suitable and not good for the person and not for society. The challenge in science is that you could potentially always work. You have uh, to fight a lot with bureaucracy and this could be reduced, but it is not. It's getting worse and worse. There is a, a lack of support in childcare in some sense. But one overarching challenge is probably the insecurity of uh, future job prospects. You have temporary contracts and when you have a family this is giving a lot of instability to me and my life. If we were doing things in the normal way, we'd now have a whole load more sessions for you to watch. But we decided to take a different approach. Open space is based on the concept of the wisdom of crowds. There's a lot of experience in the room. Maybe everyone's not experienced in every aspect of a problem, but everyone has some insights that they've developed from their own life. And the idea of open space is to bring that out. Do we want to have children? Do we want to have a house? It's a lot of maneuvering, but we are we are team. Yeah, I want to know if other people are more optimistic and how do they cope? They have a few colleagues that produce papers like one every week. Then maybe I sit at home one hour and just because of the guilt that I feel. We are forcefully rising a competition which at the same time as we are sitting here thinking about our work-life balance is boycotting that. So how can we convey these wishes of us to, for, say, DFG or any other evaluation committee? So what we have to do is to find our borders and our clear communication what we want. There's so much flexibility about things that you can negotiate with the people that you work with. Have a scientific head mindset and an entrepreneurial one. Don't look too much on these indexes. After all, the commissions will look what has he or she done. Well, there is a guilt feeling. If there are 24 hours, I have to use them all. And I think it's more about productivity and results. No, I'm not opening my emails on a Thursday if I don't work on a Thursday. Find your voice, emancipate yourself, find friends, find colleagues. Counseling, coaching and mentoring about time and career orientation. Although we have a demanding and stressful job, we usually also have quite a flexible job. I think in academia it's the easiest place for you to find the work time that suits you. We are scientists, we are good in our lab things or working in the field, but actually what are our skills? We give all the responsibility to the individual, but I think there's also some things about the system that could be changed and should be changed. Half-time positions, for instance, even at a professor level. So-called leaders, let's say, working group uh, heads, should be flexible. They should welcome children. It's not just gender equality, but diversity. We are reviewing our DFG funding programs to combine family and research. Job sharing for couples, flexible contracts, and the right for home office. Why only to look on publications for scientists? Why not also to look on benefit for society? I mean, everybody faces situations where you feel, we had the term earlier, guilty, maybe. And I guess when you come to these meetings, one of the important points is to speak to others, to exchange information and knowledge, so that you feel, well, it's not just me. I want that everyone is free to find out what he or she really wants from life. And I think that is so diverse on every individual. Because some people have no goals, some people have thousand goals, some people have changing goals. That has to be normal and okay because it is a variety and a richness and abundance for everyone, which is really the benefit for society.
Why do you have to leave in 20 minutes? Please? Yeah, because uh, I will go to the Baltic Sea with my family. Yeah. <laughs>